Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday. Today I am going to just be sharing my testimony of how I came to know Jesus as my savior. I think it's so encouraging to just hear how believers have grown in their faith and come to know Jesus. So I'm really excited to share my story with you. I hope that it is uplifting for you and encourages you in your walk in your faith. So I was very blessed to grow up in a Christian family. Every single member of my family was a Christian and almost every single person I was around when I was young were Christians. We went to church every Sunday and I knew a lot about God and I knew a lot about the Bible. I also knew that in order to go to heaven, you have to accept Jesus as your savior and repent of your sins. When I was five years old, I did that and accepted Jesus as my savior. However, I didn't really understand the difference between believing that there is a God and actually having a relationship with God. So when I accepted Jesus as my savior, I accepted him more just because I knew that that's the right thing to do, what you're supposed to do. It didn't really change my heart or any part of the way that I was living my life. I was going to church every Sunday, but I never actually read the Bible on my own or prayed with God. I didn't have a relationship with him at all. Around the time that I was seven years old, two of my cousins got baptized and it was really fun. They had like this pool party and a bunch of friends from church came and my uncle baptized both of them. And that was when I decided that I also wanted to be baptized. So I got baptized when I was eight years old, but I didn't really understand the importance of baptism or what it really meant. I more just wanted to be baptized because I wanted the pool party and I wanted my uncle to baptize me and just my cousins and my family to be there. My mom's side of the family lives in Arizona and I live in Ohio. So I got baptized in Arizona, but none of the people from my church family were there. It was just my uncle's church and my cousins. So the people I got baptized in front of weren't the people who were walking with me every day and encouraging me in my relationship with God. Now I know that baptism is a profession of your faith to the people who are with you, walking with you, encouraging you, just showing them that you're living for God. And so my reasons for getting baptized weren't the right reasons. So I also don't think that that was the right time for me to be baptized. Like I said, I did believe in God, but I wasn't living for God. And it's not really because I didn't want to be living for God, but I just didn't know what that meant or what that really looked like. We went to a very traditional church until I was in sixth grade and it was great for that time. I had some good friends there and the people there were really sweet and they're still a really big part of my life. So I'm really glad that we did go there for all those years, but it just wasn't good for me as I got older for that to be my home church. At that point in my life, I mainly went to church because I had friends there and I wanted to see them. My good friends went to that church and so that's why I went to church and why I enjoyed going to church was just because I got to see them. It had nothing to do with actually spending time with God or learning more about him. When I was in sixth grade, my parents decided that it would be a good time for our family to switch and go to a different church. And I was very upset with them and I didn't understand why we were doing this because I had so many friends at this old church and our family had so many friends at this old church and people who had just taken care of me when I was younger, watched me and just really good role models and I just didn't understand why my parents would want to leave. I was really comfortable at the church we used to go to and I valued that comfort over my own spiritual growth. The new church that we started going to was a lot bigger than the church we used to go to and I struggled a lot because my two sisters were quite a bit younger than me and went to different classes than me so I was all alone and I also didn't know anybody at this church. It was a big adjustment going from a church where I knew everyone, it was kind of small and I had lots of friends, to a church where I didn't know anybody and I'm also an introverted person so that was kind of my worst nightmare. In that time, right after we started going to that church, um, I struggled a lot with my faith and I didn't wanna go to church anymore because it was really uncomfortable for me. 
and I just struggled to make friends and connect with people. But my parents didn't give me the option of staying home, so I was kind of forced into getting a new reason for going to church. Around the same time, God really used social media and Instagram to help me learn what it looks like to be in a relationship with him. And I know that probably sounds kind of weird to a lot of you because I think social media is often painted as this like really evil thing. Although it does have those aspects to it, it has personally been really helpful for me in my walk with God and just helping me connect with other Christians and be encouraged by other Christians. So I found this girl online. Her name is Emma Mae McDaniel. And through her, I kind of feel like I saw what it looks like to have a relationship with God for the first time. That's not to say anything bad about my family or my parents because um, everyone in my family are Christians and are walking with God. My grandparents are such great examples to me. My mom and dad, my aunts and uncles. It just never really clicked with me when I saw it in their life. But this girl, Emma May, has the most joy I had ever seen out of any person ever. It was incredible. Like, I saw her and I wanted what she had. And one of the things that she really stressed was reading the Bible every single day and spending time with God. So I decided that I was going to start reading my Bible every day just for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes and just see what it would do. Because before that, I had never actually spent time with God on my own. It was always at church or Bible study. That was really hindering me in having a relationship with God. So I started reading Bible plans on the YouVersion Bible app. If you don't have that app, you should definitely get it. I recommend it very highly. It has a lot of devotions and Bible reading plans um, that you can just go through and it helps you have a more structured quiet time and kind of takes away the question of what should I read today? So I decided to just start reading all the way through the Bible, Old Testament to New Testament. And I ended up doing that in one year. And what I realized is that reading the Bible every day for about 20 minutes changed my entire life. There were a lot of times when I didn't really understand what I was reading and I didn't even consciously think about how I could apply them to my life. But just reading the words changed me from the inside out without me even trying. I started to experience this joy and this peace that I had never felt before. I started to notice the way that I act and the way that I felt toward others changing. My entire perspective on life basically changed. The way that the world looks at situations and the way that God looks at situations is totally different. For example, if I had someone who was really a challenge to be around, maybe they were just unkind to me. Whereas I used to try to avoid them and maybe I would talk bad about them behind their back. Now I would see them as somebody who didn't have the love of God in their life, someone who hadn't accepted his gift of salvation and someone who had no peace. When you see difficult people as hurting people, it makes it so much easier to love them. And when you choose to love people instead of hating people or avoiding people, it really just gives you so much joy in your heart. It's just so cool to see how when I give God that time out of my day and commit myself to spending time with him, how he just continues to teach me new things and change my heart in ways that I never thought that he would. I never realized how depressed and alone I felt until I started spending time with God and I realized this freedom that I, I could have had that whole time that I was just turning down. Obviously, I'm still learning things and there are so many things that I still need to work on. I've tried to incorporate now more into my quiet time prayer and scripture memory as well. Just talking with God and also being able to remember his word when I don't have it in front of me. But I think one of the most beautiful things about being a Christian and walking with God is that we're never completed until we're with him. So I have so many things that I can learn from other believers and so many things that I'm still learning every single day when I spend time with him. I would just encourage you if you're not already to just dive into the word. Find a Bible plan that helps you read all the way through the Bible. You can go Old Testament to New Testament if you want. You can start in the New Testament, um, but I would definitely recommend starting at the cover 
and going to the cover. Start in the Old Testament because you can learn so much about the prophecies of Jesus and how God takes care of Israel and you really just get the whole picture, the whole entire story. And there will probably be times when you're reading and it might get a little slow, it might get a little boring, but I think just praying and pushing through, continuing to be obedient and reading, you'll get so much out of it. Even when I didn't feel as connected to God or wasn't enjoying spending time with him as much, God really just rewarded my obedience in continuing to read. So I would just encourage you, if that's where you're at right now, just to keep on going. Just keep being obedient to him and spending time with him because there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you will be rewarded for that. But one of the coolest things about the Bible is it is the only book in the entire world that you can read over and over and over again for a lifetime and still learn new things that you never even thought about before. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And maybe you don't feel like you have a relationship with God. Start today, start a Bible plan on the YouVersion Bible app or just start reading your Bible cover to cover three chapters a day because that's really what changed my life and I am confident that it will change yours too. I'd love to hear from you guys about your testimonies and just hear your stories because like I said, there's nothing more encouraging to me than hearing how God takes people from all over the world and brings us all together into one family of believers. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day.